Hi, this is Paul Solt from iPhone Dev TV, and today I want to show you how to set up your Mac so that you can start making iPhone apps. We're going to need two things. You're going to need a later version of Mac OS X. You'll need either Mountain Lion or Mavericks, which is coming out fall of 2013, and then you'll need Xcode 5. Xcode 5 is the new version that came out with iOS 7. Alright, so let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is check about this Mac, see what version you're running. If you're not uh, running 10.8 or later, you're going to need to update it. And you can find that by just clicking on this Apple and clicking about this Mac. So that's your first thing if you don't know what you're running. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the App Store. So just type in App Store and press Enter, and it should pop up with the Featured. Now you can search here for any type of app, or you can come down here and check out Mountain Lion. So if you don't have Mountain Lion, you can download and install it just by clicking on this, and then Apple will take you through the setup process. It's 4.45 gigabytes, so it's going to take some time to download if you don't already have it. And once it's done, just walk through all the steps. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to search for Xcode. So just type in Xcode and click on it or press enter, you'll see that it's right here. And I've already installed it, but all you have to do is click this button to install it. It's a free app, and that will show you this window, and you can get started here. So this is a 1.96 gigabyte file. It's a little bit smaller. It'll take some time to install once you get it. All right, so that's how to get started. And after you do all that, you can come back to this video and I'll just walk you through getting started with Xcode. So I'm going to open up Xcode. And here we see Xcode 5, and this is the newest version that came out to support iOS 7. On your right side, you'll see projects that you've already opened. So this will be a list. Right now there's only one project because I just cleared that and we can create a new project. So this is the first thing that we're going to do. Now there's two ways to create a project that I'm going to show you real quick. You can either click this button, this is a button, or you can come up to File, New, Project. So these are the two ways we create projects. If you don't see this window, you need to go to File, New, Project. So I'm going to go ahead and click this button, and I'm going to resize it so it fits my screen. If you're working on like a MacBook Air where your screen is really small, this little button will help you make everything just fit. The next thing we'll do is we'll select application under iOS and within application we're going to select single view application. This is a pretty good starting point and it's going to use this new thing called storyboards which we'll get into later. So I'm just going to create a name so first app or iPhone. You can pick whatever name you want, type in your name for the organization. For the company identifier, this is basically a reverse website. They call it reverse DNS, and all it needs to be is a unique identifier. When you register as an official Apple developer and you pay $99 a year, you'll have a special company identifier that you need to use so that your apps work on your iPhone. For now, it really doesn't matter. You can put any value you want as long as it's unique. Next, just select iPhone. This will make the project simpler, and we'll hit Next. Once we do that, I like to save everything in my desktop. So I'm already in my Projects folder, but I'll show you my desktop. My desktop has a Projects directory. If you don't have one, click on New Folder, and you can create one here, and just hit Create. Since I already have it, I'm just going to select it, and I'm going to create it in here. And as you can see, I have a ton of projects, so that list was really long. And that's okay. I make projects anytime I'm trying to work through an issue or anytime I'm trying to explain something to someone else. So this is our first iPhone app. In the top left corner, press the play button and that will start it and bring up the iPhone simulator, which is really useful if you don't have an iPhone. With the iPhone simulator, we can actually pretend that we have an iPhone on our Mac and we can write our programs and test them very quickly. So let's go ahead and just make an edit. Click on main.storyboard. This is in the 
the left panel. This is called our Project Navigator. If you don't see it, click on this thing. And if it's still not visible, there's a thing to hide it here. So make sure that you can see main.storyboard. And if you can, then we're going to go over to our right side. So if this is not visible, this is a panel that we can toggle with this setting. And then we have all these different tabs down here. Now, the object tab is the one that we're most interested in. And here you'll probably see a list view where it describes everything. If you want a more succinct view, you can click on the grid and it will just show you what they are. So some of these are self-explanatory and some of them are not. I'll just drag a couple of them on so that we can see what it looks like when we put them in an iPhone app. So drag these out. It's all drag and drop. Once you get it down, you can align it to different things. So this is the building blocks for creating an app. And if we go ahead and stop it by pressing the stop button and then the play button, we'll see it open up with our new stuff. And here we can type stuff in the text field and we can click on things. Now we have the keyboard here. This pops out. You actually have to write a little bit of code to make that disappear. And that's one of the things we'll learn in the iPhone course. If you want to run it again, don't click on the text field and you can interact with a button that was covered up by the keyboard. So that's it for getting started. So thanks for watching.